Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Banzik, Teaching and Learning Coordinator at Springboard Media. Today's Active Tip is about creating your first flip charts. So your first flip chart, when you first open Active Inspire, you're going to have this blank template. So you're going to have just a white page. To get to your resource library, you need to access your browsers. Now when you open this, you might notice that your page browser is kind of hanging out on the left-hand side of your screen. If you click over there and you can get it to open, that's great. There's a little icon that looks like a push pin at the top, which will keep your browsers in that location. If your browsers flip back into the left-hand side, you can click on View and then choose Browsers. This is also Command B. Now in your browsers, you're going to see a bunch of different icons. The first browser is your page browser and it shows you all the pages you made. We're going to click on the second one, which is the resource browser. In your shared resources, you should have a folder called Activities and Templates. Each of these are drop-down arrows, so when you click on them, they'll nest the folders down or nest the folders back up. So here are some examples for all the different kinds of general templates they have. Ones with two boxes, or three boxes, or four boxes. Timelines, grids, handwriting. When you find the resource that you like, you just click on it and drag it into your flip chart. Now all of this is completely editable. So if you want to use different colors for fill, and all the text is completely editable. So when I selected the T key, I now can highlight the text and change it. You can also change the size, the color, and the font when you're typing. A toolbar will pop up at the top that will allow you to select what size and color that you'd like for your text. And you can use these templates to really customize your own creative lesson. It's not very hard. You can do this just in a couple minutes. There's also some pre-made activities that you could use. A lot of these activities are based more on primary school students, but they have calendars, they have alphabet activities, they have math activities. And same thing here, you can click and drag right into your flip chart. As you drag these different activities into your flip chart, it's actually adding other pages. So if you take a look back at your page browser, you can see that it's actually added a page for each of the activities that you've dragged in. If you want to create a new blank page, in any slide in the page browser, you can click on, there's a little gray button on the top right hand corner, and then you click insert page at the top, and then you can add a blank page before that page or after that page. You can also create your own template using the shapes. So here I've selected the shapes, and I'm selecting the square. And as I draw this on the page, it's creating a square in my flip chart. Now I can use the color fill tool to fill this with a different color. If I go back to shapes, I can add some other rectangles in to kind of create a nice visual or a graphic organizer. I'm using the duplicate button here to make a copy of this exact same rectangle and then move it down. Let's fast forward to one where I've already put in some boxes and some text. Now when I use this and project it on the board, I could have students come up and select the pen tool and then they could put examples of prime number. They could pick different colors. and then someone can explain what the rule is. Now if you want to clear this for the next class, you can click on the spray bottle and you can push clear annotations and it'll get rid of all the handwriting and just put your template back up on the page. When you're ready to save your flip chart, you can go up to the file menu in the top or you can click over here in the toolbar on file and then choose save. 
When you're saving this, it's creating a flip chart document, which can only be opened in Active Inspire. You can push print, which you could print this, but you can also export this as a PDF. Now when you choose to export it as a PDF, it'll let you choose where you'd like to export it. And as a PDF, it's compatible with computers that don't have Active Inspire on it as well. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's Active Tip. Springboard Media has a full range of professional development courses and workshops. Check us out at springboardmedia.com slash